morning year two. Hope you're all okay. Today is Tuesday the 23rd of February 2021 and it's time for our second English lesson this week. Today we will do our correct the sentence. Then we are going to try and describe moths and butterflies and then learn a way that we can compare moths and butterfli butterflies. Then you're going to do some independent fact finding. All you need to start with is your home learning book and pencil. Here is today's correct the sentence. Magnet eyes to the first word. The creature has speckled grey wings. The creature has speckled grey wings. There are two mistakes in that sentence. Pause and see if you can spot them. OK, hopefully you've had a go and written that in your book. There were two mistakes. The first mistake was that I did not start my sentence using a capital letter. So I have fixed that now with my capital T for the word the. My second mistake was that I did not put a comma between my two adjectives. If I'm describing something and using two adjectives, I need to break them up with that comma in the middle. The creature has speckled grey wings. Tick or fix and then we can move on. We're going to compare moths and butterflies today. Here is a picture of a moth and here is a picture of a butterfly. Have a think for a minute about what you can see the same and what you can see different about them. OK, I'm going to tell you some things that I know about moths and butterflies that are different. So uh, this moth is quite dull. The colours are quite boring and most moths are dull colours. I also know that moths come out at night time. And I can see from the picture that the wings are folding in. He's not showing off his wings. He's just folded them in, hiding them. Whereas if I look at the butterfly, they have bright, colourful wings. They come out during the day and they mostly have their wings spread out. When you see pictures of butterflies, their wings are normally open so you can see the lovely pattern, aren't they? So what I'd like you to do is pause here and write down some things that are the same and different about this pic these pictures, moths and butterflies, or maybe you know some things about them as well. So pause now and write down some words to describe things that are the same or different about moths and butterflies. We're going to use those words to write some, some, ca some comparison sentences. We're going to use, do that using the words of but and however. We've come across the word but before and however is another way to say but. And they divide ideas. So you have two ideas in your sentence, but they do not agree with each other. So we divide them up using the but or however. For example, I want to go outside, but it is raining. So I want to go outside, but it is raining. So I probably, that would then probably make me not want to go outside. So there are two different ideas divided up by the word but. I want to go outside, however, my mum does not want to. So I want to go outside, but my mum has a different idea. She does not want to go outside. So I've divided those ideas up using the word however. We can use these to help us compare moths and butterflies. So I put my two different ideas on either side of the word but and however. So here I've put my idea about moths saying moths are dull, but, and on the other side I've written, butterflies are bright. Two very different ideas. One idea says moths are dull, the other side says butterflies are bright. So I've used the word but. If I thought they were both dull, I wouldn't need to use the word but because it would be the same idea. But these are different ideas. Moths only come out at night. However, butterflies come out during the day. That's one idea that they come out at night. And then the other idea that is different is that they come out during the day. So I've used the word however to break them up. They both have wings, but moths keep their closed. So two different ideas. I've told you something that's the same, but then I've told you something that's different. So I have to split it up with the word but. Two different ideas, 
split up with the word but or however. And that's how we can compare our ideas about moths and butterflies. So anything you thought that was different about a moth and a butterfly, you can write in a full sentence and split them up with the word but and however. They're different ideas, they don't want to be next to each other. So that is your first task, to look at your ideas that you wrote about moths and butterflies and write out sentences to compare them using the words but and however. There's a template on Google Slides if you would like some help on how to lay that out. Then I'd like you to watch an information video all about moths and butterflies and just note down any facts that you find interesting. Because all of our ideas up here were our opinions, weren't they? We're just saying things we think about those pictures. We don't know if we're right or not. I don't know that every moth is dull. But in this information video, they will give you some true facts about moths and butterflies. So when you've watched the video, you need to think, would this information make you change any of your sentences? For example, if I watched the video and it told me that not all moths are dull, I would need to change my first sentence. So see if you need to change any of yours and then using your new facts, write one more sentence comparing moths and butterflies. So I hope you have fun learning all about moths and butterflies and good luck writing your sentences. I can't wait to see them.